Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and prepare your dried gourds so they can be ready for decorations and crafts. You are going to need a few things for this. I'm going to be using some bleach. You can also use a little bit of peroxide. This is going to be added in with our water and our gourds just to help kill off the mold so we don't get sick inside our homes. An old sponge or some steel wool would be fine. Depending on the type of gourd you're cleaning, you might not want to use steel wool just because of its abrasive nature. And you can use a less abrasive sponge like this that's a little bit softer on the gourd. Of course, the steel wool is gonna help get that mold off a lot easier though. I also recommend just picking up some cheap gloves or if you have any old gloves that you no longer need for dishwashing, these are going to help protect your hands from the bleach, peroxide, and mold. And last but not least, you're going to need a bucket. You're going to put your gourds in here and you're going to fill it up with water just enough to cover the gourds. This method works great for smooth gourds like this one or these small spinner gourds. Unfortunately, this method does not work on these types of decorative gourds. They're too bumpy to be able to scrub in between all of the little ridges and bumps. But if you know of a way to do it, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know how. Okay, this is what this looks like. You can see all of the gourds bobbing around in this bucket. That's totally fine. Unfortunately, it's going to make it a little bit harder to soak the bleach on them. But I'm just going to take my bottle of bleach and I'm just gonna add in a splash. I don't have an exact ratio. I've seen on the internet that you can do like a one to 30 ratio. I do recommend doing this in an outside area or somewhere very ventilated or wearing something over your face just to make sure that you're able to breathe all right. Alrighty, that looks good enough to me. All right, so now we're just gonna let our gourds bob around for a little bit. I am going to mix them every once in a while just to make sure that all the sides get covered. I'm going to scrub them down with this same bleach water. Look how buoyant they are. It's quite fascinating. Oop. It's fun. <laughs> the little ones are quite buoyant too, but they're not as much fun. Let's see if we can get that to go again. There we go. I'm gonna start off with one of these bigger ones. These were growing about one year ago. You can hear the seeds and the inside shaking around so you know that it's fully dry and ready to go. It also has a pretty hollow sound. These were actually dried outside in warm, humid weather, but they dried beautifully and they have wonderful mold speckling. These little spinner gourds, not many of them still have the design. Uh, most of them have gone to this pale color. These were actually growing three summers ago and these were dried in a basement in a dark, cool place. You can also hear that these are pretty hollow. I don't hear any seeds in these. It could be because they're stuck in the pulp on the inside or it could just be because they don't really have many seeds in them, but they are very dry. You can hear everything. They're all very hollow. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab one of these big ones and I'm gonna start to scrub with steel wool. I will have to say the steel wool does not seem as abrasive as some of the steel wool I've used in commercial kitchens. I don't know. You can already see some of that black mold coming off. It's looking really good already. Can tell this is going to take a lot of scrubbing though. Not for the faint of heart. Oh, it has some beautiful designs. All right, let's go for this bottom part. We'll see if you can see that. Switch hands so you can see a little better. Can you already see that? Oh, that's beautiful. So it's gonna take a lot of work, but I'm just gonna keep letting them soak and keep scrubbing as I go. And I'll update you in a little bit. All right, here's a little update. So some of the gourds are pretty clean. Compared to what it originally looked like, they are looking so good. This one hasn't been cleaned at all yet. You can just see how much mold is on that compared to the other seven. The little ones are coming along too. You can see that this lighter color is being scraped off to reveal this gorgeous color underneath. Here's one that I was able to do almost all the way. And here's another one that's about half done. Um, these are proving to be a lot more difficult, the little spinners, than the rest, but they keep scrubbing away. You can see that side by side a bit better. They are so pretty. I love how they're turning out. All right, that is it. It still looks like some of these gourds have mold, but I think it's just the coloring. I'm gonna give these one rinse to get any extra bleach off, and then they are going to dry off and it'll be ready for crafting. 
Thanks for watching.